what you've all been waiting for, as the late Peter Schickley used to say, the last piece on the program. Um, it's going to take a little bit of, of uh, setting up to do. I can talk through it, though. Um, but let's get everybody out here and set up the stands and the uh, chairs. On the last night of our last trip to Europe in October 2019, in Bucharest, Romania, Helene and I were there uh, doing research on her father's family. And we were approached by the daughter of a then 92-year-old Jewish poet named Zygmunt Tauberg. He had published some beautiful poetry in Romanian, and I had fallen in love with the language. Um, it's really the best of romance and Slavic tongues combined. And uh, I had already said three poems by their national poet, Mihai Emanescu, whom I discovered on that trip. I found two of Talbert's poems congenial to form a complete cycle of five Romanian songs. Helene premiered them in English, and a couple of them have been sung in and around Bucharest in Romania. There was a contest in Queens a couple of years ago for uh, short works from voice with flute, clarinet, violin, cello, and piano. I entered the contest. I didn't win, but I had this scoring available, and my ambitious student, Dan Barna, said he'd like to conduct the two Talbert songs. So here they are with five instruments in their world premiere. The first one is about love for one's country and one's family. The second depicts a creature coming to view the earth from the moon. If you listen closely, you'll hear a bit of Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune at the climax. The vision of mob-driven mob tyranny in Romania, I dare say in our own country, veers between the amusing and the terrifying. <laughs> 